Hey, what's up? My name is Andrew and welcome to my channel. So uh, in this video, I'm going to reveal you and show you one really easy to use trading strategy that you can use on any platform, on any broker. But this strategy is very powerful, very easy to use. It will take some time to master it, but at the end, it should, you know, uh, it should give you a solid results, which I'm also going to show you, uh, you know, regarding myself, how I use this strategy. So guys, this strategy is going to be with RSI indicator and the Bollinger Band indicator. But I haven't seen any other channel or websites actually showing this strategy and how it works in, in, in real life examples. Because uh, this is a really powerful strategy, easy to use, but uh, not that many people talk about. So I am going to reveal this strategy in this video. So regarding Bollinger Bands, we know what Bollinger Bands are, what they are used for, and how we can benefit from Bollinger Bands. Uh, but what is an RSI? So RSI basically, guys, is a momentum oscillator that measures the speed and change of price movements. The RSI is it's also uh, called as a relativity strength indicator. It oscillates between 0 and 100 levels. Okay, so traditionally the RSI is considered overbought when it's above 70 and oversold when it's below 30. So signals can be generated by looking for divergence and failure, failure swings. Uh, also, RSI can, uh, can also be used to identify uh, general trends. And this is exactly what we are going to do, you know, and this is exactly the purpose for this indicator. So now, how would we how to use a relativity strength index together with Bollinger Bands for short-term easy profits by developing this really really easy to use uh, trading strategy, you know, trading strategy for manual trading. So guys, you can use this strategy to any broker, any platform, whichever way you want on any security, you know, and any time frame. So at the moment, I'm looking at five minute. Uh, what is it? USD JPY five minute time frame. So whenever you have a, a, a Bollinger Bands uh, on the chart and the RSI indicator on the chart. So these are the RSI indicator uh, default settings. So length is 14 and the source is close. Okay, you can also choose between the high and the low. It depends, you know, uh, that's for more experienced traders. Uh, you know, depending on market volatility and if you, if you trade stocks, for example, then you might look for close only, you know, uh, or open if you are, you know, it depends on when you trade. So basically, but I would recommend you to set this as a default, so click OK. So basically, what is the strategy? Strategy involves two things. Thing number one, we are looking for the RSI indicator to be either, to, showing, to show us either uh, uh, that, that the asset is being oversold or undersold. Basically, long story short, okay, uh, we are looking for these, you know, whenever the, the, the line breaks out of the RSI zone. So for example, as you can see, it broke out here, it broke out here, here and here. So we are looking for sharp, uh, sharp bro breakouts, okay. And uh, as you can see, there, are, there was a couple of breakouts here. So but what do we do? So when we see a breakout, thing number one, we look for th thing number two. Which, which is going to be our second confirmation, which is going to be the Bollinger Bands. So we're going to look and make sure that the candlesticks are breaking out our Bollinger Band as well. At the same time, when the RSI indicator has, is showing us that the asset is oversold or undersold. Anyway, let's take a look at it. So it happened in here, uh, here, here, uh, you know. Uh, so for example, as we can see, the, as we can see here, at uh, 11, 14, a quarter past two, the candles, you know, this candlestick broke uh, through, the candlestick broke through uh, top of the top, top of the Bollinger Band, and the uh, RSI indicator was showing, you know, uh, above 70 level. This is one of the, you know, this is the indication that there might be a reversal and that we could enter a short term sell position or short term put trade or short term, uh, you know, uh, position where to get rid of the particular stock if you're trading stocks. Okay, so you need. To, so this is the this is the indication to get rid of the stock. But uh, for us, for if you trade forex, then this would be indicator for a sell position for a sell trade. Again, guys, remember this is a short term, short term scalping strategy. You know, that's gonna that's gonna enable you to generate short term profits. Uh, yeah. Because you know the markets are volatile, you know, so don't expect price to be at the same level for a long period of time. No, 
So if this is a 5 minute chart, I would respectively enter a 15 to 25 minute trade. You know, uh, you know, I would set my stop loss, you know, up in the next res next support or next resistance, you know, uh, so uh, 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 accordingly. So, okay, before I jump into the stop loss and take profit, let's just uh, take a look at some other examples. So, here, for example, again, the candlestick broke through the top of the Bollinger Band, indication that's confirmation number one, and confirmation number two is that the RSI indicator broke through uh, RSI indicator broke through uh, uh, br broke through the 70 line of the RSI indicator like so. So uh, so this was our first example, the second example. But you know, uh, yeah, let me see, see what's, what else. So uh, again, the, pop, well, the, the, the candlestick broke the top of Bollinger Band and it again, it, it bounced back here. So this would be a 25 minute trade. So again, a sell trade right here. Uh, now let's look for some buy opportunities so for buy positions for buy trades. Uh, so then for buy we need to look for the when where the price broke or uh, uh, undersold level, which is a 30 level on the RSI, which is the bottom level, which we can see right here. It's, it's the only one we see here, isn't it? Yeah. So and there now we see that the candlestick broke through our Bollinger Band. You know, and the new candlestick opened the opposite direction, which means that this is the candlestick that opened in opposite direction. This is the indication for us to place a uh, uh, place a trade. You know, we don't place trade when the trade is still moving. You know, either up or down. We look for reversal, and the reversal we need to look for reversal by looking at the candlesticks, obviously. You know, uh, you're looking at candlesticks. So if you see a candlestick forming opposite direction, then this is the indication for a particular particular trade. Yeah, I hope you. I, I hope this is. A, I hope you understand the, the the base of this strategy. But the beautiful thing about this is that uh, you know you will see that this is the, you know this is happening all of the time, again and again and again. For example, if you look here, you know, again you look at the look the price showed up. You know, the the, the price broke through the Bollinger Band. You know, uh, you know, and uh, here, okay, uh, and you might see, okay, and the the price broke through the Bollinger Band, but uh, but it still went up. So uh, when would when should I place the trade? Candlesticks, candlestick patterns. You need to make sure you understand candlesticks. So the trade would be when the next candlestick opened and closed. So this red candlestick will be your indication for the trade. Not here, but here. The red candlestick for a sell trade. I think it makes sense. So yes, guys. So uh, so uh, my advice, my advice would be for you to um, I don't know, go and open a demo account for a broker and start practicing. Start uh, you know doing a paper trade. Do paper trade, guys. You know, write down your trades, practice for a week. You know, and then you sh and then when you see a solid results during the week, only then you should start uh, thinking about maybe investing real money you know because that's what i always encourage to my students never ever invest your real money when you're not confident enough with your trading system trading strategy what's a trading system well this is a trading system that we just developed or the trading strategy that we just developed this one simple trading strategy can enable you to generate daily profits short-term profits not long-term profits because this is a short-term uh, scalping strategy well i call it scalping strategy because you know uh, it's really easy to use and uh, yeah and uh, now guys you know uh, in when you when you know uh, in the next video i'm going to also show you how you can bind this strategy to a support and resistance lines to to you know uh, to also take support and resistance into consideration to get the best trades out of this strategy so guys thank you for watching this video please please like and subscribe if you are looking for uh, if you want if you want to become a you know full-time trader from home you know then you're always welcome to join my income mentor box day trading academy the link is below the video check it out if you're interested uh, income mentor box.com it's about day trading strategies it's about how to become a full-time trader from home and leave your nine to five job that's the main goal in my academy. And also, you will be able to copy my daily trades from my Facebook, uh, Facebook group. Thanks guys for watching this video. I'll see you again next time and stay tuned for next really important video.